<laughs> okay, welcome along to Bangkok Chit Chat. I uh, hope everything in your world's okay. A good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening, depending yes. where you are. And, this and what time you're watching it. And what time you're watching it. And this beautiful world of ours. God, I'm in a good mood today. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'm always in a fairly okay mood. You've lost a little bit of weight in your face. I've stopped drinking beer for a week. Geez, so well, you must be drinking a hell of a lot of, from, from that to change your face. <laughs> Yes, I was. Well, just so you know, when you're watching this, watching this, uh, they say that it t p puts on four pounds in the camera. Yeah, that's so, right, a couple of kilos. That's what so even if people call me a big fat bee, yeah, uh, I'm actually really slim. <laughs> in my dreams, we love you, <laughs> Andrew Sloan, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. Um, first of all, thank you. We've had uh, more subscribers on YouTube and quite a lot of views on Facebook. Mm -hmm. over the last week or so. So we'd like to thank you really very much for, for you know, liking us and subscribing to us and also sharing. <laughs> it just sounds so dejected. Thank you for liking us. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> no, but, it, you know, at this stage of our, our channel, it's, it's, you know, positive steps means a lot. Yeah, and also we enjoy steps. watching it. I think I laugh more at my own stuff than, than anybody else does. Well, no one else does. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, I don't. Same in my life, yeah. Bless you. Oh, someone commented on our show the other day and said that, um, stop interrupting Andrew. <laughs> Do I interrupt you a lot? I yeah, don't think so. You don't think? Because I really felt bad. And I thought, oh, poor Andrew. I keep interrupting ah, him. Someone has to, otherwise I'll just Well, I, I do have to cut him off from time to time. Yeah, <laughs> I think you guys that know the show know that as well. So anyway, OK. In the news today, or not today, but over the last week or so, uh, Big Ood, who's uh, uh, in the police, he's sort of taken over from Big Joke. Do you remember? This is regarding the immigration. Well, this is, yeah, well, the, the headline is Big Ood's smart van We'll get you. All right, so... You, da, da, da. You, yeah, well, that, exactly. Immigration in northern Thailand province of Nong Bua Lampu proudly showed off their latest weapon in the war against illegal foreigners. Most of our stuff's linked, isn't it, to this? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it's the smart van and is the idea of Immigration Chief Lieutenant General Sumpong Big Ud. Uh, this story is from the Thai Rat newspaper, by the way. Uh, gives it credibility. Yeah. The van is equipped with the capability to check foreigners' credentials, people who might be on overstay, or who are in the kingdom illegally. Now, you know, when you think of a smart van, I'm thinking of like DEA surveillance yeah, and the, the, the CSIs, the and, the roof, and, and you and open up the back and there's like a bank of computers and flashing yeah. lights and people... Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. Well, it does sound very high-tech, smart van. Well, here's a picture of it. <laughs> Don't. Now, we're not taking the mickey, but it's not quite what we expected when we saw the headline. Yeah, I think right. the Thai Rath was uh, uh, pushing the envelope, so to speak. Yeah. Well, we, we know whose idea it was. Uh, what is it and how does it work? And have they caught anyone yet? We'll right. be answering those. Well, what is it and how does it work? Local immigration chief, police, police major Ukrit Sadal, said that a computer is used in the smart van to access the system. So you can see from the picture, it's what is commonly known as a computer, technical term, laptop, which has been ingeniously placed on a tray table for added comfort and efficiency. He's got Tinder on there, hasn't he? No, no, no. <laughs> right. So that's the smart but van. It's smart because he's actually using it. If you notice, he's using a touch screen. Also, it's a modern computer, then. It's an up-to-date computer. It doesn't okay. really look it to me, but uh, it's... Uh... And I don't think it is a pickup. It looks like a sort of a, a Altis or a, a Camry or something, doesn't it? It looks pretty decent inside the cab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Right? So what I'm saying is you could do all that on a smartphone, couldn't you? Uh, <laughs> yes, you could, but, I mean, obviously, they could do it on a tablet, to be honest, rather than just a laptop, yeah. Uh, because you want, the, you want the screen to be a, a reasonable size. You're driving along, yeah. But have you ever, have oh you, God, you, do, do, have do, you do, ever do. actually been in your mobile phone or uh, worked on a computer uh, when you're driving? It makes, it makes me feel sick. It makes me feel does nauseous. It? Yeah. Uh, it does some people. I've got a niece that has to sit in the front, although I think she likes sitting in the front. <laughs> but she says in the back she gets car sick. But she gets air sick, boats, seasick and everything. I always so get put in the front because, because, of, because of my, my size. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't be looking at a phone when you're driving. No, anyway. not when I'm driving. Oh. I'm talking about a passenger seat. 
Anyway, there we go. Uh, th that's it. Now, turning it a little bit more serious, have they caught anyone yet? And this is quite serious. The smart van was used a few days ago on a raid at a Sri Bun Ruang school where 32-year-old Mr. Tebo from the Cameroons was taken into custody. Uh, that's why I googled this school, but this is just the location of the school. They oh, didn't right, mention okay. the school. It's just, isn't it funny how things trigger when you're on camera? <laughs> I've been looking at this script for days. All right, so anyway, this guy from the Cameroons was about... The paper called him a person of colour. Uh, Tabo came into Thailand as a tourist in 2015 and was on an overstay. This information was ascertained with the help of the smart van which is something good. He's been charged with overstaying and working without a work permit. My question. Mm -hmm. He is now in custody. Great. How can a school employ a Falang without a work permit? I mean, they've got to be blamed as well. It doesn't say if they were. I mean, imagine, you know, do you want him near your child? You know, without any certificates? No. So the school just employed this guy, could have been just off the street. Yeah, but uh, if, if, it's in the, if it's in the middle of the boondogs, I remember many, many, many years when I first came here, some of the schools couldn't afford to take a foreigner and they volunteered uh, and they didn't have a, have a work permit. This is, this How long is, ago oh, was this that? 30 years ago. All yeah. oh, right. They just invented teaching then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the teaching thing in Thailand, and I have most of my closest friends are teachers, so I've got to be a little bit careful, but the image for us that have been here a long, long time, we used to put backpackers and teachers in the same category. I think that's wrongly the, so, maybe. Yeah, but, but I think that's more the, co the conversation schools, you know, when they teach conversation. Well, no work permits either, no qualifications yeah, 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 yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Well, Kosan, yeah. yeah, I mean, this guy obviously may have had qualifications, but you'd think the school would check, do some background before they let loose it amongst kids. Yes, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. And maybe they and did maybe go they to... Did. Well, but that should have been in the school. Trouble, yeah. yeah, so this smart van could do two things, it got the school, and yeah, they should have their license taken away for doing that. An unlicensed uh, uh, teacher? But, but it could be a public school. But it's a public school, not Government private. school. Oh, government school. Well, if it is, it still means he should be legal working there. Oh, absolutely, yes. You've got to have a work permit, yeah. That's correct. Oh, OK. Anyway, we thought uh, that, that would interest you. Only a quick show for this one. But coming up in the next couple of days, we're looking at this dreaded word. It keeps coming up everywhere, doesn't it? TM30. It's not a word. <laughs> no, it's not. Phrase? How would you say it? It's a... Acronym. It's a what? Is it an acronym? TM? I think it's... You can take medicine for that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a touch of the acronyms. <laughs> Oh, the paracetamol, that'll cure it. Oh, OK, so anyway, that's coming up in a, in a, in a couple of days on your favourite YouTube channel and, of course, Facebook as well. Please, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. That helps us a lot. And like and share as well because, uh, well, that's the way it goes on YouTube and Facebook. Yep. Yep, so we'll see you soon see here you at soon. Bangkok Chit Chat. Bye-bye. A quick Bye. one today. Bye. <laughs>